Now we do the entry burn in order to slow down to reduce re-entry forces, which helps us to recover and reuse our first stage. During that entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating, firing those three Merlin entry Merlin engines, but we're still moving really rapidly, so the vehicle will actually fly through its own plume and deposit some of that carbon-based fuel soot that Falcon 9 uses onto the booster. And great views of those grid fins on the first stage. And the Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the 13th time, having previously supported multiple missions, including GPS vehicles 4 and 5, Inspiration 4, Axiom 1, Nalsat 301, and seven separate Starlink missions. Entry burn starting here shortly. Stage 1 entry burn startup. There is the start of the entry burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. Good entry burn from the first stage. Stage one FTS is saved. The flight termination system is saved for stage one. You can see those attitude control thrusters on the first stage firing there. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Both first and second stages are looking good. And our next milestone is the stage one landing bird, which is coming all the way back to landing zone one in Cape Canaveral, starting in about 15 seconds here. Stage one transonic. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing burn. Start of our stage one landing burn. That's great drone footage of the first stage that you can see on the right hand side of your screen. Incredible views from first stage coming down on stage landing one, zone. Land and land deploy. That was a beautiful landing. Stage one, land the beautiful landing of the first stage, and there you have it. That landing marks stage two is in terminal guidance. That landing marks space.